Yes. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing March favorites where I tell you about my favorite beauty products from the month of March. I really didn't know if I was gonna be able to make this video today because I was sick for a bunch of March and I just wasn't wearing makeup and I don't know, I thought I wouldn't have that much of a list and then I looked at my notebook and I do. I've got a bunch of things that have stood out to me this month that I wanna tell you about. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe so I can see you here next time. And do not forget before you leave, scroll down to the comments and let me know what your favorites have been from the month so I know what to try in April. Okay, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with skincare today because I have a lot of skincare picks. I've been really into the skincare lately. I don't know why I say that like it's new. I'm always into the skincare, but for some reason this month I've been like, skincare, I need you. Let me back up. Um, the first is an oldie but a goodie. It is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Now I've talked about this before. I've used this for probably about a year and a half now and I'm very dedicated to this, but I slipped, you guys. I made a huge mistake and I tried another moisturizer, mainly in, I would say February. I was trying another moisturizer that's supposed to be really moisturizing and I liked it at first and then all of a sudden I realized I was getting all of these breakouts and Yes, this is basically just an apology to belief. I'm sorry. You've been there for me. I let you down and I'm back. I will never stray again. Okay, so the reason you need to try the True Cream Moisturizing Balm is that it is such a soothing moisturizer. It just makes my skin feel good. It sinks in completely, but it still plumps the skin nicely. I think that pretty much all skin types could actually use this because it's not greasy at all. They do have a version for oily skin types that's the Aqua Balm um, that you might like more, but this is just beautiful. I will never stop putting you on my face again, I'm sorry. So yes, Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, especially if you have dry skin, I can't live without this. Since we're talking about moisturizers, I wanna talk about an oil. So I've recently been testing some products from The Ordinary. This is a line from Desiem and it's basically a super affordable, but highly effective and potent line of skincare. I'm thinking about doing a review on my experience with more of their products. Let me know if you're interested in that and you would like to see that. But the one thing I wanted to talk about today is the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Now I highly recommend oils, adding oils into my skincare routines was life-changing, especially for my dry skin. However, I think this is a good oil for all skin types because, first of all, rosehip seed oil is a super ingredient. It is a natural form of vitamin A, which is what is in like retinol, so it's really rejuvenating to the skin, but it's also fairly dry. It's not a completely dry oil where it feels like almost powdery when it goes on, but it's dry enough that it just completely sinks into the skin and then you don't have any residue left. This has now become my favorite oil. I'm making myself use my other oils so I can use them up, but this is gonna be it after that. And you guys, this is super affordable. I'm trying to remember, I think it's like $6. I'll pop it on the screen, the exact price, but it is so good. Now, Oftentimes I put oils on after my moisturizer, so after the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm because the particles, let's see, how do I explain this as someone who doesn't actually know about skincare? I mean, this is just my anecdotal thoughts. So technically your moisturizer should sink into the skin more than an oil because the molecules are smaller and then you put the oil on top to seal everything in. But because this is a dry oil and something about the way this type of oil works, it actually can sink further into the skin if you put it on first and you get more of those benefits from the oil. I have noticed that my skin feels hydrated with this without being greasy. I have never minded being a little greasy from oils, but this doesn't do that at all, which is really nice. And I have also noticed an overall brightening effect from my skin. There are two products from The Ordinary that I credit that with. So if I do review, I'll talk about that more. I will say they don't add anything unnecessary to these products. So there is no fragrance added. So it has that very like oil smell. It's not pleasant, but you get used to it. And then, you know, it's good for your face. So yes, I love this. I love this, I will be repurchasing this. And then the one other skincare thing I wanna talk about is the Skin Food Black Sugar Wash Off Mask. I am not a huge mask person, I enjoy masks, but I think it's much more important to invest in your daily routine. I think that's really where you're gonna see the results. And then masks are like 
extra. And so often masks are super expensive, but you guys, this it's like $10, which is so affordable and I like using it. I get mine at Ulta. And so what I like about this is that it has the, you know, black sugar part. It has sugar in it and that's the exfoliating. This is the only physical exfoliation I ever do. So um, I like to put this on before I get in the shower, leave it on for 10 minutes. And then when I get in the shower, I very gently, very gently, no harsh physical exfoliation, but very gently rinse it off. But the thing that's nice is that in addition to being exfoliating it is a natural humectant so it brings moisture to your skin so it's the only mask i found that in one step is exfoliating and moisturizing usually i have to use two masks for that you know an exfoliating mask and then a moisturizing mask this is all in one i love it and it's totally worth it for 10 bucks i obviously have used it a lot and need to get another one my mom likes this now too so i think it is suitable for a lot of skin types. okay i think that's it for skincare and we're gonna get into makeup but i do have a nail polish that i want to mention first which is weird i know me nail polish like we're not best friends i don't wear nail polish very often in fact i didn't even paint my nails for this video which i probably should have done but i decided that i needed a nude nail polish i didn't have one and i saw I don't know, one of Estee's videos where she had this like beautiful nude polish and I was like, yes, that looks so grown up, I need that. And I got a ton of recommendations for you guys. In fact, my friend Leah on Snapchat sent me like a million recommendations, but of course, none of them were at my poorly stocked Walmart, but I found this one and I love it. It is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy Argan Oil Formula. I believe this is a new formula and it is in the color chai on life okay so first of all it's like a tea name so i instantly knew i had to buy it but the color is just perfect for me it's like the right amount of depth where it looks flattering but still kind of blends in but doesn't wash out my skin if you know what i mean so yeah i'm not wearing this today but i did wear it in one of my declutters i will figure out which one that was and i'll link it up here if you want to go see it in action the formula was fine i kind of just I don't use base coats and top coats because I hate them and this still lasted a week on me, so that was a win. All right, let's get into the makeup. The first thing I wanna talk about is a new brow pencil, which you guys is so good and is $2. Huge thank you and shout out to my girl Penny who recommended this and I am in love. It is the e.l.f. Brow Pencil. That's all it's called. That is a refreshingly simple name, e.l.f. Thank you. And I got the color neutral brown, but there's some other colors I wanna try too, although this one is totally fine for me. So it has a nice spoolie on one end and then on the other side, it's just a pencil. Now, this is not a fancy brow pencil. It doesn't have like a tiny, tiny tip like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It doesn't have like the, the slanted triangle tip like the brow definer. It's just like a pencil and it's retractable so you don't have to sharpen it. The color is totally fine for me and it's, it's just this, this balance of not being too creamy or waxy, but also not being too dry, and it just works. I don't know, it's nothing fancy, but I love it. Recently, I had been completely dedicated for like a year to the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. Yes, that's what it's called, but that one is expensive. This one is two bucks, I have completely this is it. This is it for me for now until I find something better and cheaper. So yes, I like it. It's beautiful. Today I'm wearing this and my Catrice Cosmetics eyebrow filler and that's it. It's easy. I never end up making a mess all over my face. So I really love this. Highly recommend checking it out. The next thing I want to talk about is the cheek combo that is on my face right now. I have a little section in my bullet journal where I keep track of monthly favorites kind of throughout the month. So whenever I think of something, I just jot it down. This is something that I was loving in the beginning of the month and then came back to at the end of the month when I was sick because I found that it just gave my face life back. So I've been loving this one all month. This is definitely a good one. Okay, so the first product is an oldie but a goodie. It is the Honey Bronzer from The Body Shop in Zero One. I've had this for a few years now, but it is still beautiful. I don't know why I just started reaching for it lately. I like it because it is completely matte. It has enough warmth to it without being orange, and it just looks super natural on fair skin. It's also the right amount of pigmentation where I feel like it can really go in there with my brush without having to be too worried, but it still shows up nicely. You guys know what I'm talking about. So yes, this is the first step. Then I go in with another oldie, but a goodie, which is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in 
Tender Rose. How could I forget that? Tender Rose. It's a classic. And I put this kind of in front of the bronzer, like more on the apples of my cheeks. That's not my normal style of blush. I usually like my blush kind of blended back more, but for this color, it just looks really fresh. It's super subtle, but it just kind of wakes up my face for some reason. So this is the next step. And then because I am extra, because I can't just do things like normal people, I have a bronzer topper that I then go in with and kind of blend those two together. And it is from my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, this darkest shade over here. I'm pretty sure it's Radiant Light. I love this. I will sometimes use this as a bronzer on its own, which by the way, only works if you're like Casper level pale like I am. But um, I also like it as a topper because it just adds this kind of like warmth and glow, like this super natural glow to the skin. I did also, by the way, blend these two all over my face, which helps as well. And then of course I have to highlight and the highlight I use in this combo is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Now I talked about this a couple favorites videos ago, but like it's still going strong. I still love this. I find that I can actually get a lot of impact from this, yet if you look at my skin, you can't find my highlighter. Does that make sense? Like it just gives off this glow that's like undeniable, but there's no shimmer anywhere. And even up close, like I can't find where the highlight starts and begins. It doesn't exaggerate texture. It's just beautiful. So this one is reappearing in the favorites and you guys, it's five bucks. So this is the cheat combo that I have been using all month. So I feel like it's really fresh looking. It can go with absolutely any look, any look I do with my eyes or my lips. And I really think these are the only things I've been putting on my cheeks for the entire month. Absolutely love it, love it. That's why it's in my favorites, but you guys, I love it. Okay, I feel like this is a longer favorites video than most, but I do have one more thing, which is a lipstick. And this is another oldie, but a goodie. I feel like maybe because I've been doing all of these declutter videos, I've been rediscovering things in my collection, which is really fun, but it is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick in Desirable. Of course, I have this in a little mini and you guys, there's hardly any left. I'm so sad. So this was in my favorites video for 2015. So a little over a year ago, this was one of my favorite lipsticks of the year. And I haven't worn it as much recently, but I still just love it. Do you see that? Okay, first of all, the formula of these is divine. It is creamy and moisturizing and just comfortable. It smells like vanilla and it goes on so smoothly. It makes your lips look really smooth and healthy. It has a little bit of sheen to it. It's not matte, it's not glossy, but then the color, I love this color. Okay, I'm not wearing it today, but I was wearing it in a video recently. Um, my update video for my first impressions that I did recently, if you wanna go check that out, but it just is this pink nude, peach combo of perfection. I mean, there's really no other way to describe it other than just beautiful, glorious. I love this. If you have fair skin and you want something that's not nude, but also isn't pink, highly recommend this. I think I'm gonna have a crisis when I finish it because these are really expensive and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the full size because it's just, it's a lot, but it is so beautiful. I love this, love this. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I said all this shit at the beginning, but it's really important and you're still here. So I'm gonna say it again. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because I wanna see your face here next time too. And most importantly, go down to the comments and let me know what you've been loving this month so that I can try it out in the month of April and maybe it'll even make it into my next favorites. Hop on over to Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and follow me at Robin's Cup and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Tut, you want to say hi? You guys, Tut's been quiet during this video because he's really sleepy. He was up all night trying to keep me awake. Weren't you, buddy? Weren't you? I love you. You're so cute. Oh, oh that face.